Hi guys, welcome back to Graceful Beauty. My name is Sherry, and today I just wanted to share a really quick video with you on how to touch up sunscreen throughout the day. Now, I know it's not summertime, but I stress this all the time. It doesn't matter if it's winter, spring, summer, or fall. Rain, shine, if you're just driving in your car and only outside for a split second, or even if you're sitting indoors all day long, you need sunscreen 365 days of the year. A lot of people think, well, I'm not going to the beach, so I'm not gonna get burned, so why do I need sunscreen? There are UVA rays and UVB rays. The UVB rays are basically the rays that are gonna give you that sunburn when you're out in the sun. But the ones that I am most concerned with are those UVA rays. And what UVA rays do is they break down the collagen in our skin. And when the collagen breaks down in our skin, that means more wrinkles. Why spend money on different wrinkle creams if you're not preventing the breakdown of the collagen in the first place. So if you wanna know what sunscreens are great to wear underneath your makeup for dry skin or oily skin, I will link that video down below. But today I just specifically wanna talk about how to reapply or touch up sunscreen throughout the day. The first thing I like to do is I keep this Color Science Brush On Sunscreen. This is an SPF 50. I also have some by uh, Mineral Fusion and I like those as well and they're less expensive. But I have used this for maybe 10 years, I mean, ever since I saw it out on the market. I love this stuff. It just has this little brush on the top of it, and this one's pretty much empty, so this brush is you know, dirty. But sometimes I'll just unscrew the top and use a clean makeup brush and then just kind of put it on my face. But what I do is I just shove this in my bra or I keep it in my purse or no matter where I am because I make sure I always have this. And every hour or so, I like to just brush this on, especially around the sides of my face that are exposed to the sun because you know if I'm outside, usually I do have a hat on. This is titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. Not only does this protect you against the sun, but it's a powder. So if you have oily skin like me, or if you just kind of need to freshen up your makeup, you can just brush it on and it basically it substitutes as your powder and a sunscreen all in one. There's a lot of different brands out there, but I like this one the best because it, it's such a sheer coverage, but it's a full SPF 50 and it doesn't look cakey and it doesn't dry out my skin. It's perfect for oily skin and even dry skin. So the other thing that I like to do is I like to touch up my concealer underneath my eyes, you know, throughout the day because you know, sometimes as we're out and about, we just kind of start to look you know, darker underneath our eyes and just not as fresh. Well, Color Science also has this amazing one. It, this looks pretty bad. I've gone through so many of these and I also have another one, but this is one that I also just keep in my purse and it and just has this brightening effect to it and it's like a peachy color, but look at how this looks when I rub it on. And actually I'll just put a little bit under my eyes so you can see how it just brightens up what I have going on here. This is also an all mineral sunscreen, but it's a treatment. It has a lot of great skincare properties in it and it's moisturizing and it doesn't get all cracky or crease underneath your eyes. It is really a beautiful eye cream. You could just use it as an eye cream in the morning or even as your concealer if you like more of a sheer brightening type of concealer. This also does not burn my eyes at all. I'm very sensitive when sunscreen gets near my eyes, but since this is an all mineral sunscreen with titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, it is perfect for getting it close around your under eye area. Now, a third thing that I like to do is I like to use a cushion compact and have my sunscreen inside the cushion compact. Now, this is one I got from Physicians Formula. This came with their own mineral makeup in it with an SPF 50. But what I like to do, since I didn't want just their makeup, I take my sunscreens, my tinted sunscreens that I love. This one by Skin Medica. I also love this one. This one's now empty. I'm about to put it in my empties video. This one by Peter Thomas Roth, their Max Mineral. This has almost 20% zinc oxide in it and it's tinted. It's, it's not a white cast. This is a beautiful sunscreen for oily skin and dry skin. I put a bunch of that inside this cushion compact. So midday, what I do is I just take the little sponge and I just press it on and then I'll just press it on my face and it's like a very sheer coating of foundation, but it doesn't get cakey. It doesn't, you know, look like now I have, you know, cake face on. Of course, right now it probably does because I haven't blended it out. So I'll apply this all over my face and then I just kind of let it dry. And if I want to powder it up, I will put this over top of it. So I don't have to wash off all my makeup and reapply foundation. This just gives you such a sheer coating of it because I've mixed a ton of my sunscreen 
in with the tinted foundation that already has SPF in it as well. If you don't want to go buy this one and you already own your favorite tinted foundation or SPF, what you can do is get an empty cushion compact. And I get these on Amazon and this is an empty one. I haven't put anything in it yet. Look at how nice this is. It has a nice little mirror in it and it came with another insert that you can also pour your ingredients in here into this cushion sponge. So it comes with two of these and then this compact and it comes with this nice little sponge. And then it's got the same thing, it's the cushion inside. And this is, this is just an empty one. So what I'm gonna do with this one, once I use up the one by Physicians Formula, I am going to squirt a ton of this one or this one. I, I'll even use my um, Australian Gold, that one's a more mattifying sunscreen, but it's got a little tint to it. I mean, sometimes I put three or four different sunscreens in there to make sure I've got plenty of proper coverage. But then also I might do a hint of my It Cosmetic CC Cream, which is also SPF 50, but I don't rely on foundation as my sunscreen. I need to apply a bunch of regular sunscreen prior to this, but I will mix a little bit of this in the Cushion Compact, or you can get some of those customizing drops. I know that NYX has some, and there's a bunch of other brands that you just put a couple little drops of it in there, and now you've made your own sheer type of tinted foundation slash sunscreen to apply throughout the day. These are just a couple little tips and tricks that I like to do to touch up my sunscreen throughout the day. And again, I know it's winter time, but I hope you found this video helpful because I feel like nobody really talks about sunscreen in the winter. They wait till summertime. So that's why I wanted to do this video because I feel like it is so very important for you guys to remember to be using your sunscreen. If we're searching for the next best anti-aging serum and the next best wrinkle cream or procedure out there to fix our wrinkles and our crepey skin and our dark spots, we are wasting our time and our money if we are not using sunscreen every single day. If you could choose one skincare item that is the best skincare product for your skin, honestly, it's sunscreen. I think that that is the number one thing that we can do to age gracefully and to prevent all of that premature aging in our skin. It's never too late to start with good skincare. It's never too late to start applying sunscreen. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel but you would like to be, make sure you look down below and tap that subscribe button and then tap on that notification notification bell if you want to get notified every time I post a new video. I really appreciate you guys watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.